the news in detail. A 32-year-old man in the city has lost up his 1.81 lakhs moment after he shared the OTP for purchasing medicines online over the phone, police said on Tuesday. The victim, a resident of Faradhi Nagar, had visited a medical shop on Sunday evening to buy some medicines but couldn't get them. He returned his home and started searching for medicines online when he received a call from an unidentified person who told him that he would deliver the medicine at his house. Presuming him to be a genuine medicine supplier, the victim shared his credit card number and the OTP received on his mobile phone with the caller. Within half an hour, the fraudster withdrawn rupees 181470 from the victim's bank account, an official said. A case was registered on Tuesday under Section 420 of Indian Penal Code and the Information Technology Act, he added. After almost three months, Nagpur district have a sign of relief as it reported less than 500 positive cases for the second consecutive day. Today, the district reported 470 fresh cases and 24 fatalities. In the day, some of 1981 people were successfully recovered from the virus bond disease in the last 24 hours. With the latest update, the total number of positive cases has surged to 4,72,011, while the number of deaths rose to 8,822. So far, total 4,52,341 persons have recovered from the dreaded virus. With a good count of recoveries in the day from the virus born disease, the total recovery patients rose at 4,52,341. After today's recovery count, the rate has further increased to 95.51%. With the rise in recoveries, the active cases further dropped to 10,848. The administration has appealed to follow preventive measures even as cases casualties are reducing. It is conducting searches at some places in Nagpur in connection to the offence registered against ex-Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh in Mumbai over the alleged money laundering cases following a complaint lodged by former Mumbai CP Paramvir Singh. A day ago, it has also recorded a statement of a bar owner in Mumbai in connection to the case and have also issued summons to some more people. Ex-Mumbai CP Singh had alleged that Deshmukh had given a target of Rs 100 crores to the dismissed assistant PI Sachin Vajay and other cops to collect it from the bar owners earlier. ED had also recorded a statement of J.C. Patil, who was one of the petitioners against Deshmukh before the judiciary so stated that ED had zeroed down on at least three different places to conduct the searches at residences of Deshmukh's associates. On second year in succession, NMC budget is getting overshadowed by COVID-19. Standing committee would present the budget over year 2021-22 before general body on May 28 and seek its approval for the outlay. Similarly, Prakash Boyer, chairperson standing committee would also present revised budget for previous year 2020-21. The budget meeting is already delayed as the municipal commissioner had earlier missed the traditional deadline of mid-February as a civic machinery was drafted into COVID-19 management and also due to sleepover of previous budget. A special meeting is scheduled on Friday to take up the already delayed budget and experts feel that it may be perfectionary exercise and outbreak of pandemic continue to put pressure on already stressed finances. Municipal commissioner in this budget has refrained from any new tax and same in expected to be carried forward by standing committee. As we know, the city is reeling under this scorching heat. As per information, the city would witness nine days of extreme heat, not apart from Tuesday. It is believed that these days will be more hotter. According to the meteorological department, the city sky will remain cloudy till May 30th. In addition, there is a possibility of heavy rains and thunderstorms on May 27 and 28. Similarly, moderate rainfall is expected on May 29 and 30. Besides, cyclone Yas, which has formed in the base of Bengal, is moving forward and there is strong possibility of its impact on central India too. At the same, the Arabian Sea and coastal areas of Maharashtra are also seeing the effect of cyclonic circulation. On Monday, the maximum temperature in Nagpur rose by 1.5 degree to 41.5 3 degrees Celsius. Chandrapur was the hottest in Vidarbha with 42.6 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikhai, Vena Chupai.